In one of the most amazing stories I have ever heard, I am not a guy who sues people. I don't believe in, you know, accidents happen, things happen, you know, whatever. I don't sue people. I have to tell you, if this guy doesn't sue the hospital involved in this, it's not even a hospital, it's like a, it's, it's a, one of those urgent care places. If that isn't put out of business, and if this guy doesn't own the town where this happened, there is no justice. Yeah. There is no way. There is no way that this happens in America. There is no excuse for this. I, I, I don't care what your damn dog said. There is no excuse for this. You should probably uh, detail what happened. Well, I'm going to bring the attorneys on. Uh, uh, we have um, two two of the attorneys for this man in New Mexico. Uh, we have Joe Kennedy and uh, his wife Shannon Kennedy on. Uh, they are with the Kennedy Law Firm in Albuquerque, New Mexico, and uh, their client was pulled over at uh, because he didn't come to a complete stop at a stop sign. And I will let them tell you the story quickly. We've already outlined it once. Joe and uh, Shannon, welcome to the program. Can you can you kind of run down this quickly again and recap yes. for anybody who didn't hear it? Yeah, thanks, Glenn, and thanks for having us on, and we really appreciate it uh, to be able to talk about this. But our client was uh, lives in Lordsburg, which is a town close to Arizona and the Mexico border in, out here in New Mexico, and was driving to Deming, which is another town a little bit north of there, about a town of 15,000 people, and going to shop at a Walmart, that he was pulled over by the police officers, uh, the city of Deming police officers, who called in another county to investigate as well. But through a series of questioning and and uh, allegations that a drug dog had alerted to the car and we've discovered that the drug dog is not certified um, oh, and the posture of our client and 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 all sorts of and other information which was false uh, they go to a, a they get a search warrant uh, from a district court judge in the in that st- in that city and the search warrant offers authorizes a what's co- called an anal cavity search, and based on that search warrant, they take him to a a facility in Deming again, another urgent care facility. And the doctor there says, "No, this is unethical. I can't do this. This is wrong." And then they take him to a, another facility, the Healer Medical uh, Facility in Silver City, New Mexico, where he is literally subjected to. Uh, five to seven hours of medical procedures, including digital searches, enemas, culminating in a colonoscopy, a complete colonoscopy, under the theory that the warrant authorized what the doctor called a body cavity search. And he's taken home at Unreal. About 3 o'clock in the morning after being stopped at 2 in the afternoon. Okay, so he is... He is uh... Oh, my gosh. I mean, it, it, it doesn't go far enough to what you just said. Please go to theblaze.com and read this story and see what this man went through. Just the way he described it does not begin no. to under you don't begin to understand the horror. Two finger probes and three enemas, enemas plus two a colonoscopy X-rays and, and two x-rays. Yeah, so they didn't find anything. At what point did he ever say no? I want an attorney here. Oh, absolutely. Where absolutely. was his attorney? Yes, absolutely. And and the other thing, too, is the humiliation of this also. Oh, is It's done in full view of, of uniformed police officers uh, oh. who are standing there and making jokes and, and making fun of him. And he's absolutely objecting to it, but there's only so much you can do. But did, did he ask for an attorney? Because, I mean... Absolutely. And did they... Absolutely. did they, but they there's did, no... You know, Glenn, there's no right to an attorney until until you're charged with a crime, and he wasn't charged with a crime, oh ironically enough. They found nothing in his car. They found nothing on him, and this man was never charged with a crime. So was, you don't have a right to stop a, a medical procedure like that uh, without being charged with a crime? So if they don't charge you, they can just do this? That's well, their case? That's unreal. That's the way they can't. And that's the, right. To some extent, the reassuring thing is it's, it's yeah. clear— uh, the Supreme Court has handled this uh, before in the, in the, a long time ago, and it's clear they can't do this. The problem is we have a, a collection of law enforcement and doctors who don't know this, and district mm. and a district attorney was involved in this. Now, Joe, to, to add the ultimate insult 
to to the uh, the already egregious injury. The medical the, the hospital then had the unmitigated gall to send him the bill for the procedures. Is that correct? Do we stunning. have that right? Absolutely stunning. You can't believe this until you read the, the actual medical report of the procedures. That had to be a few thousand dollars. Is that was that a few thousand bucks? For the for the colonoscopy. How much was it? Stunning. How much? Six thousand oh dollars. Oh my gosh. Yeah. That and they couldn't do the you know, the other thing about this is they actually uh, fed him at seven o'clock in, in at night uh, because the man had not eaten since since lunch. You're not supposed and then to. They called in the, mm. the colonoscopy where he had to wait four hours until they did it at two o'clock in the morning because he had had eaten. Oh, geez. So and so it's just crazy. It's stunning. You can't believe it. So what is there? Uh, the only thing I hear, um, and you know, the blaze has reached out. We're trying to get comments on it. Nobody will comment because it's in court now. But what is does anybody have anything where they say, well, look, it was real. What you don't realize is do they have anything. No, they don't literally do not. I mean, it is one of those situations where you're just stunned and it's people who should know better. So how come the police chief is is now saying, look, we did everything by the book. What book? Mangala's book? Yeah. What book? <laughs> It's a book I'm not familiar with, that's for sure. It's yeah. not published in this country. So how come they're how come they're not just owning up to this and firing everybody and trying to because I have to t- tell you if this happens to me, you know, if they would ever do something like this to me, I I would go crazy and I mm-hmm. would sue the pants off them. Um, you know, no pun intended. <laughs> uh, but I, they I would leave them with nothing and I would want justice. However, if they immediately came and said, oh, my gosh, this was completely out of control, here's what we're going to do. I might be a little more lenient, but for anybody who is saying, look, we went by the book, it would only enrage me more. And I would say, mm-hmm. I want their children's children's children to pay. You sure you're not a trial lawyer at heart, Glenn? <laughs> oh, uh, you know what? In this case, Joe, you got to be. Joe, I tell you what, my friend, uh, uh, I, I'd lo- I'd love to I'd love to make the closing arguments <laughs> on this one for you. Well, maybe we'll get you out here to testify as well. Oh, <laughs> this is the most uh, outrageous thing I have ever heard. This is the Soviet Union. This is this is brown shirt stuff. It, not that this would make it any better, but it, was there any belief by the police department that maybe there was something going on? Is there does he does your does client he have, a, have a long history of of, well, of there, with you know, drugs. Yes, law enforcement, they'll probably tell you that they were investigating him for suspicion of, of, of drug use or drug dealing or something, but they have nothing on him as far as uh, any recent activity. This man has been, he's a scrap metal dealer in the, in this, in the South, uh, lives, you know, works hard, but doesn't make a lot of money. And uh, they don't like the, I guess they don't like the people he, he hangs around with, but they've, and they've been harassing him for a few years here. Just searching his car, things like that. They've never found anything on him uh, uh, recently. And, so has and he, he has had some it, drug history, but nothing that that he had drug possession conviction. But he, he, they haven't found anything on him, and they keep harassing him. And even in this case, they they searched the car. They got a search warrant for the car and found nothing on him. And this might make maybe that that what you just said maybe justifies them to be a, a, to a search the suspicious car. or to to search. The, right. It still does not get you anywhere near what they actually no. did. And exactly. there's no justification. Exactly. And, and based on a you know literally, Glenn, the, the drug dog uh, the, who was not certified. Uh, oh my God! Literally, they claim that he he alerted on the pad, on the driver's seat. And based upon that, they had an inference that, therefore, this man has something in his anus. He had what in his seat? On his seat? They alerted. Uh, some sort oh, of alert. Alerted. The dog mm. alert. They alleged it was a dog alert on the seat. Mm. I have to tell you. They didn't find it. And, and again, they didn't find anything. And this dog is, is not certified. This is a, a, there is a series of incompetence and, and willful disregard of civil rights here that culminates in, in this man getting a colonoscopy. So it is a... a a significant sort of uh, total Joe, I, I, I would control. I would ask. I would ask you um, to um, advise your client, please, for the rest of us. Please do not settle this case. Please do not settle this case. 
go for the throat. You've got we, to we send very a... very happy to see the, the positive support mm. that people have, have commented on this story and the positive support of people. He, he's very happy about that and, and feels very encouraged. He's a little bit of a prisoner in his own house now because obviously who would go out on the streets after having this done to you? Mm-hmm. Is he so, getting is he getting any blowback um, in town? None, none, and and that's the that's the good thing about the media, Glenn, and and that's why we're so happy to be talking about this because you shine the light on this, they're not going to to harass him or do anything uh, to him at this point. So the community seems supportive of him, uh, absolutely, and there's outrage there, like absolutely, yeah, this, that's is, good. this is something. I mean, this is what a, is the what is the mayor of nice, state, nice place to visit. This does not. You know, look good for us, but this is not yeah. how we we do business. What does the mayor say? Haven't talked to him. Uh, uh, don't know, frankly. And it, and that's a good question. I mean, I have to tell you, I, I honestly, I mean, I've been to New Mexico before. New Mexico is a beautiful state. I I, I was just saying to somebody the other day because they live in New Mexico, and I said, you know, I'd love to go take a vacation in New Mexico because it's really beautiful. It's just really, really beautiful. And uh, some like this makes you say, I, I don't know. I mean, what the hell is going on in New Mexico? No, thank you. I don't want to go. The mayor of this town should be all over this. Walmart should be all over this and say, right. look, we, we had a, a guy leaving our Martinez store. All over this, too. We have a, 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 a good, savvy governor out here who should be aware that this this has gone on and should come out and speak out against it. Uh, Who's the governor? That's the uh, guy from Clinton administration, isn't it? Uh, no, Susanna Martinez. Yeah, no, you're, you're thinking of previous. Uh, okay. Martinez, a Republican. Uh, okay. Yeah. 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 I mean, what, where does he stand Mr. on this? Has he said anything? I just want to say that, you know, Governor oh, sure. Susanna Martinez is a former prosecutor, and she would know better. And what is she saying? Has she said anything? Not yet. Wow. Well, we'll, you know I what? I know that she is, as a former prosecutor, would want to uphold the Constitution of the United States of America. You would hope so. You would hope and so. And Susanna Martinez is not. When she learns of this, is, is, is not going to be happy about this at all because it does make New Mexico look bad. Oh, it makes New yeah. Mexico you know, look in horrible. Fact, it's something you would think and, she'd be commenting and I, on. And I have to tell you, if, if I were the governor of the state, if I were the mayor of the state, if I were the chief of police, whatever it is, I would, I would make it very clear you're not covering anything. We are going to be very clear. We're going to we're going to do open books on everything. We're not going to hide anything because this has to be fumigated. This kind of stuff. There's there's no there's not even this isn't even close. I don't care if the guy I don't care if the guy, you know, had, had been prison before. It doesn't uh, it doesn't mean that you can do this to a citizen. It's craziness. I mean, based on their own affidavit where they said they had suspicion because he was standing in an erect manner, means they could do this to anyone. Yeah, as long as your posture is good. You said said something like this was tried in the Supreme Court a long time ago. Um, This has got to be something that happened in the South, you know, with... You know, uh, people of color. What 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 was it? Because it because this is this is horrendous. What was it? Well, actually, there's a there's a a famous Supreme Court case, and I, I'm not sure where it originated out of, frankly, but it involved a, a stomach pumping for an allegation that a gentleman had swallowed drugs uh, while and the and the officers had actually seen him swallow the drugs, and they took him to an emergency room and had his stomach pumped for the mm-hmm. drugs, and the Supreme Court said. You know, we understand the need to prosecute folks, but uh, we're going to draw the line at invasive medical procedures. It's this is not this is literally the Supreme Court said this is too close to the to the screw in the rack. Wow, amazing, guys! Well, thank you very much, Joe, Joe and Shannon. You let us know how we can help. Please stay close to us on this story because we will follow this story till the uh, until the happy ending at the at, at the end of this one. Um, any any time you want a trial lawyer on your show, Glenn, just call us. <laughs> you got it. You win this one. Yeah. You win this one in a spectacular oh, way, please. Thank you very thank much. You very much. All right, Joe Kennedy and Shannon Kennedy of the Kennedy Law Firm in Albuquerque, New Mexico. Amazing story. Usually, the- usually, you can say at the end of one of those, like, unless we find out that the client did this. No, there's I can't nothing. even come up with anything. No, there's nothing. No. There's oh, that's nothing. why I said, there's, even there's if no he was, for it. even if he no just reason. had gotten released from prison, yeah. I don't care. Yeah. I don't care. I mean, maybe if he was saying, 
Uh, I swear there's something in there. You guys better keep looking. Maybe if he was saying that. That's about the only thing I can come up with. Yeah, I put it in there 15 minutes ago. It's in there. Find it. Must it. be deep. Find it. You're gonna, you know what I'm going to need is a colonoscopy. To I get that challenge video. you to find it. <laughs>